Yo, yo, we're back in After Effects, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create this halftone effect. This effect was actually done by Kami VFX in one of his edits. So, big shout out to him for the inspiration. So, without wasting any more time, let's just hop into my main comp. As you can see, this is a clean comp without any effects. The first thing we're gonna do is start by rotoscoping out her. So, I'm just gonna start rotoscope and see you guys as you can see i done a rough rotoscope around her because it's a simple tutorial so we don't we have to go full in depth anyways i'm just gonna duplicate the, my layer and did the, the rotoscope from the bottom layer so now we're gonna start adding effects into our background so we're gonna start with that far half tone let's just add it onto our clip we're gonna just bring up the frequency like that like about 120 or something it looks pretty cool now so to add that color we're gonna use v VC color vibrance it's a free plugin it's completely free so why not just download it so i'm just gonna change the color to something like green greenish like that and you can just bring up the vibrance actually and lower down the pre reserved luminance about like that so as you can see our background looks really cool now i don't want the effect from the beginning so let's just go about like here and delete the rotor effects from the beginning after that in youtube i found this green screen butterflies so i'm just gonna drag it over here and right click go over the time try and stretch you can just make it to like 50 so it's a bit fast and add like a key light to remove the green of course then you can add like optic glow this is a plugin too it is by rigid vfx suite so if you have it make sure to use it oh these glitches are insane ignore all of those for now bring up the size lower down the amount and go with the highlights only and just bring it up a bit then set it to extend it on mold i guess i'm also gonna lower down the opacity like that as you can see there's a hard cut between our effect and our original clip to smooth it out i'm gonna use my shake pack i'm gonna use like hard shake pearl for now the first link in the description if you want to download the pack and i'm also running a crazy bundle with my shake pack and my 3 title pack so we get like two packs in almost the price of one which is really cool packs are really cool so so make sure to check it out back to the video so after playing around with the sick for a while i got this effect so i'm also gonna add like optical glow in it and just bring up the size and the highlights only too so for the first frame i'm gonna just make the amount to zero go a bit and make it set it to like nine or something nine ten something around that and go a bit further again and set it to two so now in the background clip i'm just gonna make an adjustment layer trim it to the length of it like that and i'm gonna add a effect called chromatic aberration it's on universe so make sure you can make sure to download it the easy way the hard way you already know so let's just go with distort amount and lower down the distort to like one or two like two yeah and you can go over to like radial blur i'm just gonna lower it down to and yeah my first clip looks something like this so for another clip i'm just gonna copy all the effect that i showed you and see you after that so after doing that my result looks something like this so hope you like this video if you like the video hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because half of you that watch my video is not subscribed and if you just hit the subscribe button it would really mean a lot and motivate me to create more videos like this you can also follow me on instagram so yeah see you in the next video peace